Hi guys, Steve from Performance Institute here. I'm trying to give you some tips on getting your first pull up. So five different things we like to think about, um, at least five, but uh, one of the first things we'll look at is do you have adequate range of motion? A lot of people are limited in their ability to reach their arm up over their head. So if you do, chances are you probably have tight packs, tight lats, and one of the things that we can do, something simple that will also work in your grip strength to help with your pull ups, is to perform a hang. So you can grab onto the bar about shoulder width apart and simply hang. Try to keep a bit of tension through your shoulders so you're not just hanging but you're being active through there. And you can start as little as five seconds and build up. Try to build up to about a, a one minute hold. That's a really good goal to shoot for. So if you do that a couple sets, try to do that three to four times a week is a really good starting point. Next thing is get some assistance. So they do have assisted pull-up machines, but you can go really slick and just use a band. So you can wrap a band around. They've got all different uh, tensions. Typically the heavier one we'll use is green, but if that's still not enough, what you can do is you can have two bands. Um, if you think of the, the law of elasticity, the more it stretches out, the more assistance you get. So you just loop it up like so. You can either put it into your knee or you can put it right underneath your foot. So if you have your foot and then you extend your leg straight out, that's gonna give you more assistance. It'll make the movement better. Which brings us into number three, is train, don't test. If you think of doing a heavy back squat, you wouldn't wanna test yourself every single day, you'd burn out. And the same thing applies when you're doing pull-ups. So think about training. We wanna have really good quality of movement when you perform this. So try to keep a couple reps in the tank. If you know two reps banded is as many as you can do, don't do more where they get grinding and sloppy. You wanna have nice clean reps. I'd rather you do many more sets of fewer reps and that's gonna to lead to a lot more success down the road. Uh, number four is grip the bar. So a good little trick you can think of doing when you grip the bar is think about trying to get your hand over, grab with the pinky first, and then really grab hard with the rest of the hand and wrap your thumb around the bar. That's gonna give you a nice strong grip. If your grip isn't strong enough, you're not gonna be able to pull the force into the bar to be able to pull yourself up. So think about that pinky first, wrap your fingers around it and then grasp the bar hard. And then finally, number five is don't forget to train your pipes. A lot of people simply don't have the strength in their arm flexors. It's a lat motion doing a pull up, but your biceps do a heck of a lot of work to assist in there. So doing some direct arm work, think about in your strength curve, you don't want to be doing 20 reps if your goal is to do a pull-up. You need to get strong. So I'd say stay within about a 5 to 8 or maybe 10 rep range. And you can do all different variations of bicep curls. But try that again a couple times a week. Um, if you're working on hangs multiple times a week, keep working on it. It's going to take some time to get to your first one. But once you get your first pull-up, then from there we're off to the races. And you can really work on building repetition. Hopefully that helps, guys. Enjoy.